In the next section, we'll demo the installation and some of the key features of the UDP appliance. In this section, we will walk through the UDP appliance setup wizard. Power on the appliance and wait for the Windows configuration to complete. There may be a slight delay before the wizard starts. This is normal behavior and should only take a moment. The end user license agreement will open. We need to read the agreement, accept the license agreement, and click next to continue. Under the appliance configuration tool screen, we will assign the appliance a host name. I just chose appliance as my host name. We can also join the appliance to a domain by clicking the Add this ArcServe UDP Appliance to a Domain button. Here we can put in the name of the domain I wish to join and my credentials in order to join that domain. In my case, I will not be joining it to a domain, so we will not select this. We'll next select Save and be presented with the Appliance Configuration screen. Under this screen, I can go in and edit the host name and domain information. I can view the appliance URL as well as editing the date and time in case I need to do that as well. By default, the UDP appliance will use DHCP for a network connection. We can click Edit under Network Connections and assign a manual IP address or DNS information if we wish to do that. Once the appliance configuration screen is complete, then we will click Reboot Appliance in order to apply those settings. The appliance restarts with a new hostname and domain settings. The wizard opens the appliance configuration screen with the new option to launch the wizard. We have the option to edit the date and time settings as well as the network configuration or IP settings. We'll click the launch wizard and log into the wizard. The wizard opens to the ArcServe UDP appliance management screen. This wizard lets you create a basic plan to schedule backups. A plan is a collection of steps that define what nodes to backup and when to perform the backup. The backup destination will be the appliance. We will go through now and set up a basic backup. First, we have the option of choosing. This appliance will function as a standalone instance of ArcServe UDP, or if this appliance will be connecting to a remotely managed UDP console, or RPS server remotely managed. We'll provide that UDP console information, our permissions to connect into it. In our case, we will not be connecting into a remotely managed RPS server, so we'll choose the first option. Click Next. Now we are presented with the data store information, where we will be backing up to with, on the appliance. Compression will be enabled, deduplication is enabled, and encryption is enabled. We will need to provide an encryption password and confirm that encryption password. We'll click Next and are presented with the email and alert notification screen. Under email notifications, the service, we have the options of Google Mail, Yahoo Mail, Live Mail, or other email type service. What is the email server? The port we're going to connect through. Do we need to authenticate to that? If so, what's our account name and password? The subject of the notification, who we want it to come from, and the recipients that we want it to go to. Do we need to connect through a proxy server? If so, we can go into proxy settings and set up our proxy information here. We can then send a test email to verify that we are set to have email set up correctly. In our case, we'll just skip email notifications. Click Next. Next screen is Replication to Remote RPS. If we will be replicating to a remote RPS server, we will need to provide the console for that remotely managed RPS server as well as the credentials in order to connect through to them 
and perhaps proxy settings in order to connect through as well. If this appliance will not replicate to a remotely managed RPS, we will choose that option. Click Next. Now we're in Plan Creation. We can skip this if we do not wish to create a plan at this time. However, I will go through simple basic plan creation. We will name the plan. We'll take our, the default name, Protection Plan 1. We will give it a session password and confirm that session password. How do you want to add nodes to the plan? We can add nodes through host name or IP address for Windows machines. Discover them through Active Directory. Discover your nodes through vCenter or ESX. And last, import those through Hyper-V as well. We'll take the host name and IP address option. Click Next. And our next step will be to add the machine that we wish to protect. In this case, we chose host name and IP address. So I will type in the host name and IP address of the machine I wish to protect, being the appliance itself. Provide our credentials. our password and a brief description of the node. We'll then add it to the list and it added successfully. We can continue to add nodes that we wish to protect or we can go to next. We'll choose next. The next screen is the backup schedule. When we're going to perform the the, the installation and when we're going to run the incremental daily backups. We'll take the defaults for this, however we can change the date and the time for them. Under the next screen we will choose the plan confirmation. We will see that we are protecting one node. It is the appliance is our destination and we are going to install or upgrade the software onto that node if we needed to install it at 9 p.m. on Friday night and the backup schedule will be a daily incremental backup every night at 10 p.m. We could edit the nodes, we could edit the schedule, we could add additional plans from this location, we could even delete the plan. I will then click Next and our configuration is complete. In addition to the basic plan, ArcServe UDP lets you create complex plans and control many parameters from the UDP console itself. We could add more nodes to protect, customize plans with features such as virtual standby, add more destinations by including recovery point servers and data stores. We will click finish to open the ArcServe Unified Data Protection Console. We will take a look at a few features now such as Linux protection. Under the resource tab you will notice that we already have a Linux backup server group labeled appliance. That's the name of our appliance if you recall. If we go into all plans, add a plan, agent based Linux, you will notice that the Linux backup server name is appliance. Again, that is the host name of the appliance as we named it. If we go into the destination, we would choose our NFS or SIF share which is typically configured outside of UDP and added here. For more information, refer to the ArcServe UDP Agent for Linux User Guide. We will cancel this plan. Let's go into our plan that we created before. We can add a task. If that task was virtual standby, we would choose our virtual server, which would hy be Hyper-V. The host name would be the host name of the appliance. And we would connect. Then under virtual machine, you will see that all virtual disks share the same path, which is our X drive on this particular machine. That is on the appliance itself. That is the location for it. The last feature that I want to show you is actually outside of the UDP console. So let's go ahead and minimize this. 
we will go to the Start menu, and we will go to the Application screen, and I will go ahead and open up the ArcServe Backup Manager. We will use Windows Authentication and click OK. We can exit out of the My First Backup tutorial and go directly into Backup. We will do a normal backup, go to Source, span this out, you will see an ArcServe UDP Recovery Point Servers group. We'll right click, add RPS Server, and add the host name with our credentials. Click OK. And the, the appliance has been added. And you'll notice there is the machine that we're backing up. That will allow us to add tape integration into the appliance. Thank you. This concludes our demo of the UDP Appliance Wizard. Remember, ArcServe is assured recovery.